Hey guys, today we are going to start looking at quadratic functions. So a quadratic is anything that has an x squared in the equation. And whenever you graph it, it creates a u-shaped curve called a parabola. And there's two ways that this parabola can face. If a squared, which is the coefficient of x squared, is positive, then the parabola is going to face up. You can think of it like a smiley face. So this one right here would mean that a was positive. Then it can also be facing down if a is negative. You can think of it like a frowny face. So this one right here would be an example of when a is negative. So that is the graph of a parabola anytime you graph something with an x squared. We are going to look at a lot of different forms of quadratic equations in this unit. We are going to start with standard form. So standard form of a quadratic equation is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And there's a couple of things that you can tell from this equation. The first thing that you can determine is the axis of symmetry. So the axis of symmetry is the vertical line of symmetry that divides the parabola in half. So all parabolas are going to have a vertical line, invisible vertical line going down the middle of it. That's the line of symmetry. Since it's a vertical line, it's always going to be an x equals equation. And we can use numbers found in standard form to determine the axis of symmetry. So always going to be an x equal since it's a vertical line, and it'll be opposite b over 2a. We'll practice finding that in a minute. And then another key feature of a parabola is the vertex. The vertex is the turning point of the parabola, and the axis of symmetry goes through the vertex. So whatever x value you get for the axis of symmetry, that's going to be the x value for the vertex. When the vertex is at its lowest point, that is a minimum. And then when the vertex is at its highest point, it is a maximum. So first thing we're going to do is draw and label the axis of symmetry, vertex, and minimum or maximum. So let's start with the axis of symmetry. That's that invisible vertical line that divides the parabola in half. And we usually draw it with a dotted or dashed line since it is invisible. So there is our axis of symmetry. Okay, then the vertex is the turning point of the parabola. So, and it, the axis of symmetry goes through the vertex. So there is the vertex. That is where the parabola is going down. It's decreasing and then it turns to go up and it's increasing the turning point. And it would also be considered a minimum since it is the lowest point in this parabola. So there is our vertex and we can also call it a minimum in this parabola. Okay, let's do the same thing for this parabola. The axis of symmetry is the invisible line going through the middle of it. And then the vertex is the turning point. So right here, this time it changes from increasing to decreasing. And this one's also considered a maximum because this time it is the highest point of the parabola. Okay, now let's look at some actual equations. So it says find the axis of symmetry, the vertex, and sketch the parabola. So they gave us the equation in standard form. Remember, standard form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. The first thing that I can see is that a is positive. That coefficient of x squared is positive. So my parabola is going to be facing up like a smiley face. Okay, next thing I need to find is the axis of symmetry. Remember, we have a formula for the axis of symmetry. It is x equals opposite b all over 2a. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to identify a, b, and we don't really need c today, but we will in the future, so I'm going to go ahead and identify that from the equation too. 
So a is the number in front of x squared, which is one here. Since it's just an x squared, that means one x squared. B is two, and then C is four. B is the number in front of X, and C is the constant by itself. Okay, now that I have these things, I can determine the equation for the axis of symmetry. It'll be X equals opposite B over two A, so X equals the opposite of positive two is negative two, all over two times A is one. So it'll be x equals negative two over two. So that means that x equals negative one. So the equation for the axis of symmetry is x equals negative one. So let's go ahead and sketch that here. x equals negative one would have an x-intercept of negative one. It would be about right there. Now I'm gonna label that x equals negative one. Okay, so we have the axis of symmetry. I know my parabola is going to be facing up, but I need the vertex so that I'm able to determine where the turning point of the parabola is. So I already have the x value of the vertex. It's negative one because the axis of symmetry goes through the vertex, but I need the y value. Well, they gave us an equation to find y, and I know what x is, so I'm going to replace x in that equation with a negative one to find the y value. So it'll be y equals negative one squared plus two times negative one plus four. So if you wanted to work this out by hand, you could. I prefer to just use my calculator. Just make sure that you put the negative one in parentheses and then square it, because otherwise your calculator will not do the signs correctly. So it'll be parentheses negative one squared plus two times negative one plus four. So the y value of the vertex is three. Okay, so that means my vertex is at negative one, three, so about right here. And then my parabola is going through that, and we talked about how it is facing up since A is positive, so I'm just gonna sketch it. It will look about like this. Okay, so we determined that it was gonna be facing up. We found the axis of symmetry, we sketched that, and then we used the x value from the axis of symmetry to finish finding the vertex, and then we were able to sketch it. Let's look at number three. It wants us to do the same thing, find the axis of symmetry, vertex, and sketch the parabola. So first thing I'm going to do is identify A, B, and C in this equation. A is the number in front of x squared, the coefficient of x squared, so it's negative three. And then B is negative 18, and C is negative 24. And since A is negative, that means this time my parabola will be facing down. Okay, now let's find the axis of symmetry. The equation for the axis of symmetry is X equals opposite B all over 2A. So it's going to be X equals the opposite of B, would be positive 18, all over two times a, so two times negative three. So x equals 18 all over negative six, so x equals negative three. So the axis of symmetry is x equals negative three. So I'm gonna go ahead and sketch that axis of symmetry. Be going through the negative part of the x-axis, at x equals negative three. Okay, so I have the x value for my vertex. It is negative three. Now I need to find the y value. So I'm going to plug in negative three for x into this equation and that will tell me the y value of the vertex. So I will do y equals negative three times negative three squared minus 18 times negative three minus 24. 
and I'm just going to put this into the calculator, just making sure that I am careful with those parentheses. So negative three parentheses negative three squared minus 18 times negative three minus 24 is three. So y equals three. So the vertex is negative three, three. So that means that it is somewhere up here for my vertex. And then remember this parabola was facing down since A is negative, so it will look something like that. All right, let's look at number five. So first thing I'm gonna do is identify A, B, and C. A is the coefficient of X squared, so it's negative one. B is the coefficient of the X term, so it's six. And then there is no constant. There's nothing for C and the number for nothing is zero. So C would be zero. Okay, now I'm going to find the axis of symmetry by using the formula X equals opposite B over two A. So X equals the opposite of positive six is negative six, all over two times A, which is negative one. So it ends up being negative six over negative two and negative six over negative two simplifies to three. So the axis of symmetry is X equals three. So let's go ahead and sketch that. This time we're gonna go through the positive side of the X axis at X equals negative three, or sorry, X equals positive three. Okay, now I need to find the vertex. I have the X value of the vertex, it is three and I'm going to plug in to this equation to find the y value. So I'll do y equals, careful about how we do this. Re this really means negative one times x. So it's gonna be a negative, if you wanna put the one you can, times the x value was three squared, and then plus six times three. You could also write it like this, just with the negative sign in front, you just need to recognize that the number being squared is three, and we're gonna put a negative sign outside of the parentheses. So you can type either one of those into the calculator. Negative times, just make sure you put the parentheses there, then three squared plus six times three. And we get y equals nine. So my vertex is three, nine. So my vertex is pretty high up here at three, nine, and now I just need to sketch the parabola. A was negative, so this means I'm gonna have a parabola facing down like a frowny face. So it would look something like this. All right, last one. I need to find the axis of symmetry, vertex, and sketch this. So let's start by identifying A, B, and C. A is two, B, I do not have just an X term. I'm missing that X term. There's nothing for the X term. So B is zero. And then C is negative five. So now that I've identified those, I can find the axis of symmetry by doing X equals opposite B all over two A. So it'll be X equals the opposite of zero is just zero since it's the only neutral number divided by two times a is two, and I get x equals zero over four, and zero divided by anything is zero. So our axis of symmetry is x equals zero. So the axis of symmetry is the y-axis, x equals zero. Okay, then my vertex, we know the x value is zero, and then I'm gonna find the y value for the vertex by substituting it into the equation. So it'll be y equals two times zero squared minus five. Zero squared is zero, two times zero is zero, so I just get y equals negative five. So my vertex is zero, negative five. So I'm gonna plot a vertex down here. And then A was positive, so that means that my parabola is facing up like a smiley face. So I just need to sketch my parabola facing up. 